I wanted to ask you, because you've mentioned guides, and I have a lot of listeners who are into psychic abilities and mm-hmm. things of that nature. Can you speak a little bit about your guides, how you met them, who they are? What's going on with that? <laughs> well, I have so many now that I refer to them as my all y'all. Okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I grew up in the deep South, so all y'all is a very comfortable term for me. Yeah. I don't know which one came forward first. I, I've never been one who needed to know a name or who they were necessarily. They're more of a feeling for me. Some of them do have names. I have um, one of the very first ones that, that showed up to me. She probably was the first one. She barely ever talked to me. I have other ones that won't shut up. <laughs> but um, she showed me symbolically that her name was Golden Eagle Woman. And... I learned much later that her role in my life was to hold my fear, Mm -hmm. which I definitely needed. And I still call on her every now and then. Could you hold this for me? I don't want it back. Just hold it for me. You throw it away when you're ready to. (laughs) Right. Um, But she's a very grandmotherly feeling presence. Um, I have a shaman um, who I call grandfather. His name is Wagatanika. Took me about a year to learn how to say that. Um, And as I began to work um, on reclaiming my shamanic memories, basically. Um, he was there as a guiding, a guiding force. Again, not in words always, but more like a, a gentle direction. You know, like, no, not quite there. How about over there? Oh, look, look at the pretty thing over there. <laughs> you know? mm-hmm. um, I have worked with um, Archangel Michael. I didn't particularly like Michael's energy. He's really? very, Why? very masculine. Uh-huh. You know? <laughs> Powerful, strong. <laughs> powerful, strong, but also very like organized and linear in the, mm-hmm. the ways that he was. And I don't, I'm not a linear thinker. So that didn't work for me. Um, I have one. I love her. Um, her name is Surreal. She's an angel. And um, she, a friend of mine, she was with, a, you know, she was a guide for a friend of mine. And, she, and my friend was telling me about her. And I was like, oh, I need an angel like that. She's like, I can do with you too. <laughs> and she is, it's really, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, but she is my personal shopper. Okay. I hate to shop. I hate to shop. And so I will say things, and this was her suggestion. So I will say things like, um, I really need a pair of hiking pants. I've got a trip coming up and I don't have the right kind. And, and I think I know what I want, but I don't know where to get. I can't find anywhere. Surreal, could you go see if you can find that? Let me know when you do and where to go. And I will get hit. Sometimes it's within minutes. Sometimes it's two weeks later. I gotta go shopping right now. And I know exactly which store to go to. And it's not like she says, okay, so you're going to go to Columbia and you're going to go back. But I know I got to go to this store. I got to go to the back corner. And on that rack, there's going to be exactly the right pant. And I literally did this. <laughs> it was like the first time. And, you know, it was in my size. It was on sale. It was, you know, it was like, wow. <laughs> so I have just, I've gotten to where when I, when I want something, I'll go surreal. Let me know when you find it and awesome. it'll pop up and, 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 you know, I'm on an Amazon email that I get, or I'll, I'll be, you know, I'll just get that urge. Oh, I got to go shopping. Um, and I'm not a shopper. So when I get that urge, I know it's her. How do you spell so, her name? If I may ask S A R E A L. Okay. Interesting. And then I have, um, recently I asked, I I've been guided by a collection of voices, I would say for a, quite a long time now, but I've never really asked them for a name. And I recently asked them what I could call them. Um, and they call it, they said that, that to call them the community of light. And so I don't know exactly how many, I would say there's probably maybe six or eight different feeling presences that have come through me. I, I can channel them. That's how, that's how they came to me. Um, but I also use them. I, I talk to them individually for myself. Um, some of them present female, some of them present male. Um, I, I have this feeling sometimes in my head when I'm channeling that um, they're trying, they're, it's like they're jockeying for position who gets to talk today. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> so I have, I collected them uh, you know, from all, I just, uh, they've come to me when I needed them, I think. Um, and I know that early on I had, I had a few that were helping me with the writing because I was writing a new kind of book and I would just channel it basically. And so they did that. It hasn't gone anywhere yet, but, um, but they kind of left when I didn't need that anymore. Right. And then, so some of them come and go. 
Um, Archangel Uriel was with me for a while and, and, but I don't see him much anymore. You know? mm -hmm. So, um, but I do have this sort of community that, that likes to be around. And, um, so I just invite in my all y'all and some of them are angels and some are ancestors. Mm -hmm. Um, some are power animals. Um, I have, uh, earth elementals that I work with. Um, so that's, I, I just said, I don't want to forget anybody and hurt their feelings. You know, <laughs> so it's just the collection. So yeah, Gu guides can be anything. I mean, really, um, and they can come to you at any time and you can ask for them. Um, I mean, I basically asked for Surreal to do my shopping for me. <laughs> it's just, you know. Right. Well, I, I went to a, an angel workshop once and the teacher said that the angels are like this huge unemployed workforce just mm -hmm. waiting for a job like somebody yeah. just give me a job like you got to right. ask me for it you got to give me permission to do it mm -hmm. but if you do mm -hmm. it they will help you on every single level from every the most level. minute thing yeah. like, what do i wear today to the most grandiose yeah. thing like life purpose and whatnot but they're there they're around they are and you don't have to know specifically you know a name or right. what what they are even you can just say and i i did this early on and it still works i would like to always have easy left turns <laughs> I should have thought of that. <laughs> I'm writing that and, down. <laughs> and, and to this day, I, I, it's, it's so rare that I have to wait for a left turn or that, you know, there's one place I, I take my dog to doggy daycare once a week and coming out of there at five o'clock in the afternoon is it's a traffic jam in both directions on this is one little connector road. And I, as long as I go, okay, give me my easy left turn. And I don't ask, have to ask specifically for it every time, right. but I do there because it's, it's a complicated little area. Right. And once I remembered that, oh yeah, I can ask for that, even though I've got a standing order for it, but um, it, I had never having a problem getting out of there. Um, <laughs> that's great. And that's okay. You can ask for silly things. I asked early on, I asked, and I think this was probably golden Eagle woman that I asked, I needed to be reminded that there was magic in the world because I was learning how to raise up to a higher vibration when I was around other people that were spiritual. And then I would crash down to my, my baseline again. And I didn't like it. I wanted to be able to stay up there, but I didn't have any way to remind myself of that when I wasn't around other people. So I asked for feathers as a symbol of magic because birds are kind of magical. They fly. You know? <laughs> it's like, um, and in that first year after I asked for that, I have, I have bouquets of feathers in my house. I got wow. so many feathers and I still get them. I got a blue jay feather this morning in our garden. Um, but more and more often I go, oh, look, it's a feather. I don't need to pick it up, <laughs> you know? Right. But it's just a little reminder. And and so, yeah, don't. it's not like you've got to you know, have a, a worthy request. No, they, like you said, they're waiting for it to help you out. Right. They can make life easier and you just have to ask.